Fisher of Hato, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna talk about Dream Sheets or Texture Atlases. In our case, our Dream Sheet look like this. And the Dream Sheet is the single texture set that can be used to texture multiple objects. So, in other words, it looks like collage made from different surfaces, materials, or 2D objects to create incredible variety of textures for multiple objects. It's very popular in game industry, and you can find this approach in many, many games. For example, it was used in Muggle Lords. All the buildings you see were textured by one or several atlases. World of Warcraft used it everywhere. Diablo 4, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Anno 1800, and thousands of other games are using this approach. There are many reasons to use Dream Sheets, and here are several of them. First, it keeps the same style for many artists that are working on the same game. Second, it saves a lot of time. Instead of texturing each object individually, you are using one prepared texture set for all objects you have. Third one is optimization of your game. Less draw calls, smaller size. All this leads to better game performance. So there are many reasons to use Dream Sheets. But before we dive into tutorial and learn how to use them, if you want to thank me for my efforts doing all this tutorials for you in my free time, you can become my patron. And starting only from $5, you will get all the tutorials project files, advanced tutorials parts, and some of my digital products for free that will save you a lot of time and efforts. And if you want even more, check my art station market, where you can find amazing textures for everyday use that you can just drag and drop on your models, advanced tutorials videos with the project files included, and game ready models that you can use immediately. So be my patron to get all these bonuses. And remember that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine that is very important now. So here we are in Cinema 4D. I've created this church for our demonstration purposes. It's very low polygonal and you can use even in mobile games. And it will perfectly demonstrate how good it can be, even if it's 1300 polygons. And you will get this church and trip sheet if you're my patron, you'll find it below the tutorial as included files. So we have no UV unwrap here. But I will move all this mess off the atlas for now. Select all the objects and then go to Tools and select Paint Setup Wizard. Press Next and check off Recalculate UV. Press Next again and change the resolution to 2K. Press Finish and Close. Now we have material on all the objects. Double click on material itself and load to the color the trim sheet you want to use. Then double click on material icon to refresh the viewport. Now you can see our trim sheet picture. On the material go to Viewport Settings and set Texture Preview Size to No Scaling. It will help you to see texture without blurring. Now I will solo one element to demonstrate how to work with the trim sheet. Select the side you want to texture, then click on unwrap. You can click it several times to align the shell. Then use scaling tool to scale it down, and use moving tool to move it on the place you want to. This side already has a perfect texture. Now repeat it again with the other side. Select it, click on wrap a couple times, scale it down, then move it to the place. You can overlap it, no problems with it. Choose what texture part to use, just moving the shell. Now let's select the sides and press UV and wrap. Here they are, so let's scale them down and then move to the right position. For the upper part, I want to choose other texture, this stone texture, so I will move it to this side. Now let's select these side edges. And because these faces are angled, texture will lay bed on it. To fix it, select edges and press straighten. Then I can group them together and place it to the right spot on a trim sheet. Only these sides are left to unwrap. Let's select them and press UV unwrap. And then let's place it on the right spot on a trim sheet. Scale it down, move it down. And we need to rotate it 90 degrees. Now we have this part textured that is in fast. The only thing in Cinema 4D you cannot control texel density, at least without plugins. That's why I'll show you same workflow but in Rhythm UV. Here we are in Rhythm UV. In left viewport choose to show both and on the right viewport choose to show flats only. Then go to files, load texture map, load your trim sheet but you will see nothing unless you press this button and then this small one. Now you can see your texture atlas. Let me solo this part, cut it and unwrap it fast. If you don't want to darken the shells, you can press this button. But I will leave it for now, for you can see better what's going on. To see the texture on the 3D view, you need to press this button and this one to not darken it. Then simply move your shell on the right spot. For example, this is my rooftop. When it's done, just press on this speaker and you'll get your texel density. Then select all other shells you want to and then apply the texel density you choose to select it once. That will help you to get the texture that will use the same on each object, on each element, same quality without blurring or resolution differences. 
In other aspects, the process is the same, just move your shells to the right spots. The ready result will look like this. And here you can see how I placed my shells. To get the best result, you need to place your textures on the trim sheet smartly. Keep same resolution and use the same texel density for all your objects. That will help you to get amazing professional results and quite fast. When you're done arranging all the shells in Rhythm UV, for example, you can just go to Cinema 4D and apply the material to already unwrapped object. The only thing left to discuss is how do I apply these IV elements, cracks and leaks. An answer is very easy, we're doing it the same as we did in our decals tutorial previously. I'll create polygon and make it editable, apply the same material and let's scale it up a bit. And let's choose any element we like, for example here we have an IV element on the alpha channel. And all I need to do is simply cut it off and just keep this one element. You can delete everything else. Then place it to the right spot and move it out a bit. That's how easy it is. And for demonstration purposes I will create new house using the same trim sheet. It's not so beautiful as a church, but I waste just a couple minutes to create it. So that was quick overview lesson that hopefully showed you how big potential has this trim sheet approach. And I hope you like it, enjoy it, learn something new. Remember that you will get all the project files, that means you'll get this church model and trim sheet if you are my patron. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe the channel to not miss even more interesting tutorials that are coming. Big thanks to Entity to Disco for being my patron. I very appreciate your support. Stay safe, have a nice week, and remember, все буде Україна.